We're in France and it's a team time trial in one of the staple time trial courses on this platform. We're on the RGV or Route Grand Vitesse course. This TT is over 25.3 kilometers, just 125 meters of elevation. But there are some really technical sections on this course, which if ridden well by a well-drilled team could make the difference in those finishing positions. Let's get in to this week's recon. So yes, we are back in France and this is on a course which has been used regularly through the team time trialing scene. We used this last season and it's a really great course for testing those team skills on Zwift. As we are now in the final round of this current season, I know teams will be pushing hard to chase those top spots. So let's drill down into the details of bikes and places to watch on this course to maximize your chances of getting those fastest times. This week, we're going to be using footage from one of the best teams we have racing, Zwift Racing League and Zwift Grand Prix, and that's Team Next, powered by Insured. So thank you to those guys for supplying the footage and also some insights throughout this season. Also, just before we jump straight in, the course recon notes are done and available over on the community pages of levelvelo.cc. While you're there, don't forget we are running the designer jersey competition and we want to see your most interesting, your most creative jersey designs. And if you're lucky enough to have your jersey selected, we could be making that jersey in real life. Just like Level Velo Clothing do for many teams, both in Zwift and IRL. As discussed, here are those recon notes and just to highlight the key areas straight off the bat before we get on the course. At kilometre 12.9, you of course have the aqueduct climb, which again, ridden well, keeping the team together and accelerating over the top to maximise speed down the other side can really make a difference in terms of split times. And then the most important section comes between kilometre 17.8 and 23.6, where you have this repeating series of rollers, which again is all about momentum, roll through speed, communicating and working together to keep that speed high. Bike choice is all about the most aero TTT frame and wheels you get at your level. And once again, you're gonna find a link in the description to a really cool app to help you select and purchase the perfect choice bike and wheels at your level. All right, let's roll through the footage and take a look. Just as we do, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you don't do so already and leave your comments and questions down in that comment section. Just a quick one before we get into the course. The footage I said was from next. In fact, it's from James Barnes's stream. I've left a link down in the description below. Go and watch James, Zach, Ashton Lambie and Thomas Thrall smash it round the RGV course. Some really interesting tactics there for the team too. So go and check out that video. Right, let's get back in the pens. Let's get on course and take a look. All right, as we go out on this flat section for the first five kilometers, this is the ideal time to work on getting that speed high and keep those changes fluid and smooth and working on slick communication with your team. At kilometer 5.3, we have a 3.3 kilometer section of small rollers, which can sometimes mess that rhythm. So just make sure you continue to communicate and allow riders to get extra recovery if required. It's important at this stage to keep as many riders together and as fresh as possible to reduce those times.
At kilometer 12.9, we start to ramp up towards the aqueduct climb. Work hard on the ascent, but have enough to kick over the top to increase that speed again and get that momentum back into the group. Use the roll through with your teammates to your advantage. We then at kilometre 17.4 start the rollers on the opposite side of the course before hitting these three back to back to back bumps which come at kilometre 21.7, 22.7 and 23.6 on this course. Punch through these bumps to keep the speed and if you have a struggling rider ask them to give one final push over the top of these bumps before allowing them to drop off if you have enough riders that is across the finish line. Once over that bump, it's all about driving it home for the final kilometre and the finish line, which comes at kilometre 24.7. So that's it. That's the course. As mentioned, thanks again to Next for supplying the footage. And don't forget about those recon notes over on levelvelo.cc. We will see you next week for a smash around Innsbruck in the final scratch race of this season. Thanks for watching, have a great week, and we'll see you soon for more cycling esports content.